everyone, and welcome to episode 25 of the Real Talking Podcast with your hosts, Ash and JD. What has two wings and an arrow? I don't know. Chinese phone box. Wing, wing, <laughs> hello! <laughs> 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 That's about um, most of the people to cut you straight off there. That's oh, it. Them racing cunts. <laughs> a lot of people just like that for me. <laughs> uh, I heard it on one of these dad joke fucking videos the other day and uh, oh, I was crying. Fucking told our John about it and even he was laughing, man. But uh, yeah, fucking episode 25. Um, I mean, we always wanted to get to this point at least, really, didn't we? Yeah. But, uh, it seems to just roll around quick. It has. Uh, I mean, technically, it's twenty-seven for us because of those two last episodes. Um, so, yeah, twenty-seven weeks that we've been going for, twenty-five episodes. Going strong, mate. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can see an improvement. I know you can see an improvement, and hopefully, the fans at home, yeah, see an improvement. Um, I mean, there's still not enough of them downloading and sharing and liking <laughs> and sending their emails in, but. We have actually got four emails this week. It's a record. I know. It's uh, greatly appreciated. So when anyone does want to send us an email in, it's uh, realtalkingpod at gmail.com. Uh, X, Twitter, whatever everyone's calling it these days. It's X. <laughs> got a gear. X uh, you too. So yeah, it's Ash, at Ash and JD. Also, sorry. Yeah. So you enjoyed your Elon? You know, you, you just brought Twitter. You want to rebrand it? X. They're the best thing you can come up with. Does it, what does the X mean? Uh, I really don't know. It's like how... Obviously, when you was to tweet at someone, or tweet someone, like, what are you calling it now? Yeah. Like, I've just X'd them. I've just sent someone a message on X. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what the terminology is meant yeah, to be. Yeah, because you tweeted, people... though. And obviously, it was a picture of a bird, because tweeters... The people that watch birds, is Emma Ryan saying that? And birds tweet. Yeah, <laughs> win win. See, there you go. <laughs> but then X. I, 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 I don't know. A strange one. Just point out there. Yeah. Um, Give us your thoughts. I, I'm, I'm sure. But why X and not like? Oh. Yeah. P. I P. I suppose X is the easiest one to yeah. do with your arms, anyway. X. X. Like, yeah. It's easier than doing a B. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's awkward, isn't it? Or the YMCA. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just the way it just came to me there. I just. I wonder because he's spice. Oh, spice X in his. Yeah. That's yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. We got there. God. Sure. Well, what does the X? What does the X mean in spice X, mate? Experts on the matter. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say fuck you because his his kids got that mad name, any, and I was thinking oh, maybe that's yeah. not because of the first letter of. It could be, could be. But yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. SpaceX. Yeah. Fucking hell. There we go. So yeah, come to us with more mysteries. Uh, if you've got a problem you can't solve, send yeah. us uh, an X. Um, <laughs> send it through the space. Uh, yeah. Or uh, you can always just comment on <laughs> yeah. one of the videos on YouTube. Uh, Real Talking Pod. Uh, so firstly, Mark Jones. Mike Jones. Oh, Josie boy, he's emailed straight back with, uh, oh, he's actually got a story for us then. Right. So I've, I've literally, I've not read any of these emails. Because we thought he would have some great stories. I'm sure he's got, he, I guarantee he's got a load. Yeah. Let's just wet the whistle first, quickly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, so, hi lads. Hi, Mike. Uh, so the funniest thing I saw was involving this one man that's been in and out for years. Everyone knows him, thinks he's hard as nails and can pull every woman in sight. So he thinks he's a top show dad. Uh, <laughs> always has new bragging stories when he's had a few weeks of freedom, all about the fun he's had. So anyway, there was a new bunch of lads turning up for a stint. So as usual, they get a bit of stick. But this prat said something to the wrong person, and instantly the new man had his hand around his throat, kissed him on the cheek, and says, I'll see you in the shower later, wee man. 
<laughs> just a serve to dominance. <laughs> that is, that's proper, just, just fucking. Just stuff. like literally. You might as well just got his dick out and slap yeah. around the face with that. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'll take his Scottish as well. See you in the shower later, wee man. Wee man. Uh, professionally, we did our job and moved them on. But we all spent hours watching back the footage <laughs> of this man <laughs> lose his head. And he was never the same while his new friend was in prison. Fucking uh, respect for that. I, I, I fucking I love that one. No, yeah, that was funny. I can imagine there's loads that he probably couldn't say as well. That he couldn't tell us. Well, I imagine he's just sent one because he doesn't want to send like, that. Yeah, yeah just he doesn't want to send like paragraphs. Leave paragraphs. us wanting more. Yeah, and plus, well, you know, I suppose we could probably do a whole episode of stories from Mikey Jones. Mike Jones, um, yeah. Mate, love that though, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, no, fucking, thank you. You can just imagine it, you know, he's one of the yeah. proper dickheads that fucking, you know, he's just bowling around the fucking prison thinking he's the fuck. I bet he's like a skinny little prick as well. Like, he's only got abs because he's skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and just smokes weed. Yeah. Well, oh, God. I bet he's got his PlayStation in his room and that as well, and a fucking prick. Um, and yeah, oh, God. He. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but if you could send us that footage, <laughs> fucking hell. Like, unless you said we was allowed to, we wouldn't put it on the fucking pod, but I'd love to fucking see that. You could just imagine it going, yeah, fucking just hand round his throat. See you there, wee man. <laughs> fucking little freak. Oh, God. Mate, anyway. No, yeah, uh, great story. Yeah, if you've got any more, like, you can share with us on that. And definitely, if you can send us that fucking CCTV, fucking love that word. Um, yeah, it'd be great. Uh, right, and then we've got another one here. Oh, this is interesting. So from Lauren. Uh, Hi, Ash and JD. Describe each other's perfect 24 hours. So it would be me saying what your perfect yeah. 24 hours would be. And you'll way around. Okay. So it seems like you've got a bit of thinking to do. No. Go on, no, you, no, 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 you say, if, if you already know more, and you go ahead, it's just as a bit where, we, yeah, but you go, go ahead, you go ahead. Mate. So for you, what I would think is, you go up in the morning, it's early, but not like stupidly early. Um, so say you're getting up at like six o'clock, not that you want to be up that early, but mm. you are, because you're about to go on out of that, <laughs> you, you fucking... For whatever reason you're taking the dog as well like mm. he's there's no issue with it he, he, he can just get on the plane got his own seat sorted and whatever so it's the whole family going abroad short flights as well going off to a nice fucking country so you're at the airport no queuing you just fucking straight in straight on the plane straight across and then it's like 10 o'clock you're getting off the plane you're there You've already had breakfast at the fucking airport as well. Big scram. All the fucking scram. And then, no hassle getting checked in, into the hotel, bags in, having a recce around. And then out of the blue, you see that on sale, there's a fucking Kanye West, Jay-Z, <laughs> one night only show of the, uh, I was going to say Game of Thrones, but it wasn't Game of Thrones, was it? Fucking Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne, fucking mm. concert. That's fucking on. And like, someone's just give you two tickets. Like, there you go, mate. So, you and the missus go. Well, like, that's later on the night, that is. That's at like seven o'clock on the night. So, throughout the day, you're just doing holiday stuff. You go in, having a couple of bevs, food, walking around with the dog and that. Mm. And then, yeah, you have a nice night at the concert back home well back to the, the hotel yeah no I'd, yeah i'd say that would be a pretty perfect day for you see when she said perfect day i was like i didn't understood if it was like uh like I mean, perfect you know like realistic like, yeah yeah if that makes sense all right so if it's a realistic day let's yeah let's let's go with the realistic one all right or uh, let's or do you want me to do both we'll just do both well we'll yeah. just do both cover all the angles well i'll do the realistic one for you <laughs> so Similar really, like, it's like a Saturday or a Sunday, so you've got no work to do, you've got literally no plans for the weekend, mm. you don't need to do anything, That's it's right. anything that you want to do that day, mm. so weather's nice, it's warm, not hot, so you can walk around with shorts and t-shirt and you're not going to be cold, it's just the perfect temperature, so look, for you, that's a good 
20 to 22 yeah where you're not walking around sweating me i'm already drenched at that temperature but yeah it's comfortable for you uh you're taking a dog out for a walk or whatever parks and that get back have a little bit of a breakfast whether you pick it up on the way back home or you order a mcdonald's breakfast or something mm. then a uh, couple of hours watching Pokemon. <laughs> Have a takeaway and watch some films on the night. Pretty much, yeah. No, I would say that's probably pretty much bang on. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty simple, really. It's 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 the dog walk. It's for me. I I, I consider like there's nothing more on a week than a like dinner. You know, not early early but yeah, early enough hour. so you've been all the traffic get the dog out and there's not a load of people there yeah. as well get a coffee yeah an hour walk talk about stuff and then just solve ev- like all your problems and just mm-hmm. go back at it but yeah that's pretty much it yeah but so for more really sit down for you mm-hmm. i would say something to me you get up early yeah not, not early but obviously you just you well, get up to early fair, now you're just used to it yeah because even when I've got nothing to do, a day off or whatever, my body's still waking up at like four mm. or four in the morning. So I am still going to be getting up yeah. around that time. See, and here's the thing. So nice, nice big straw for you. No work, obviously. Mm. No work, no graft. Yeah, no job sequence or anything. That's it. Just, Fucking that's just... it. Phone solar. Yeah. I can imagine. I don't know. See, where I don't know if you'd rather cook your own breakfast or maybe get something in. So maybe I'm a bit... You get food, maybe you cook it, maybe you order it in. And then, you know, you chill out, 12 o'clock, a few bevs, man United. Yeah. It obviously, realistically, they do not. Well. Be yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, ideally, maybe. it's the perfect day to get yeah. good results. Good result. You had a few beers, and then here's the thing you cook, you cook a scram, but it's like, I don't know. Because you do, you do cook quite a bit, don't you? So it's hard to... Yeah. So you... I don't know, actually. Because you've done the pizza breads the other week, didn't you, as well? Yeah, yeah. Do so, do a lot of cooking my own pizzas and steak nuts and all yeah. that. Yeah. So you then you cook like your own meal of choice. And then, down to the pub. That would have been years ago, of definitely going to the pub at the end of the day, but... Mm. Barely go now. Mm. You know, it's fucking... It seems a bit sad, really. We've got older and fucking, this is a perfect day for us. Both <laughs> starting off, walking the dog. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, yeah, on a Saturday or a Sunday when I've got nothing else to do, I do, I take the dog up, uh, so it's like a normal walk, walk up round trip and that. So I'm out for about three hours. Yeah. Um, and so then that's the difference, whether it's a Saturday or a Sunday, because Sunday, I'm definitely yeah. fucking, because I do me roast dinner on a Sunday. Uh, Saturday, I would probably do breakfast myself, but then have a takeaway on the night time. Right. That's more like yeah. a, instead of a takeaway on a Sunday. So just because of roast dinner. Always got to have a roast dinner on a Sunday. Um, and again, yeah, you know, with the way that the Prem fixtures are all, all the time, you even got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday yeah. fucking games now, ain't you? So. It yeah. does, it's, that is a good question, actually, Aaron, because it's like. You know, you think about what your perfect day is, is you know, would it be something realistically? Because realistically, I'd get up, go gym, and not be tired. Yeah. Then go and take the dog win out. Win the lottery. Yeah, okay. yeah, then, <laughs> you know, w- yeah, win the lottery, go bookies, win everything in the bookies. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I feel like for a generic day, that would be, as we just described, each other's perfect. You know, generic day, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. You well, know, for, uh, I good. mean, that's, that's what I'll be doing. Because going away for a couple of days in a couple of weeks, and that's what I'll be doing pretty much every yeah. day. I'll be getting up, nothing special, just a little caravan for a couple of days. And uh, yeah, so I'll be getting up, go for a stroll along the beach with a dog, get back, have myself a couple of teas, a uh, couple of cups of tea, uh, probably have like a bacon and egg, sausage and egg sandwich, whatever. And then uh, again, throughout the day, while there's nothing to do, because it's during the week, there's not going to be much on the TV. Yeah, just uh, just go out for walks and that, and have a couple of bevs. It is mad, isn't it? Because as you just said, you know, when we was younger, you wouldn't really thought you'd be in this mindset. Well, no, it would have years ago, especially with the way 
man fucking that donut was he would be just drinking all day long. yeah all day and, and, and when then, they say all day i mean you wake up you, it you literally it was it was st- it's stupid as soon as one of us woke up we'd wake the other one up with a beer and uh i don't know how we used to do it fucking i don't know how he used to do it i don't know how he's still doing it <laughs> but uh but no, yeah, it's just, um, it is weird. But I do enjoy a dog walk. I, I do find it the most peaceful. It's nice, any Peaceful you know. time of the week for me. Like a long dog walk where you can, you drive. So you, no, look, no, nothing around the block where you drive. Yeah, well, yeah. obviously, where I go for the big walk. Yeah, you don't have, I can yeah, drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can cut through yeah. the farm and that near mine. So, yeah, that's why it ends up being around about a normal walk. I feel now with me, I, I, I want my dog to come with me everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So like, if we was to do stuff, I always think first. I think where can, where can Alfie come with me? Yeah. <laughs> well, that you know, it's the main thing I do. Like, you know, obviously not just Shearer at the moment, but when it was Mally as well. When it comes to holidays, it would be, you know, like Yarmouth, Skegness, or whatever, because it's it's somewhere you can take the dog, and you've got mm. the beach to walk on, or you know, if you go into like the Lake District or whatever, you've got dog walking yeah. routes. And this is what, when I see on TikTok, and I think it, in some airlines in America, if your dog's under a certain height or weight, they can come on the plane with your income as a, like a carry-on luggage. If you find, uh, obviously in the States, another state, it, yeah, it's I allowed. Yeah, there is some that you can buy an actual seat for them as well. Yeah. I did see a video, I believe it was a great day, and <laughs> your man got three seats. So he was on the one, and the yeah, great yeah. day was on it. The dog was definitely on two seats anyway. Yeah. Um, I think that'd be cool, though, and he yeah. jumping on planes seeing the dog. But like that's mm. when we go away abroad and we leave the dog Alfie with my mom. I always every morning I'm like, "Is Alfie all right?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I call them pup dates. Yeah. Well, they are <laughs> any, you know, it's it's the the dogs are just like the kids for us. Mm. You know, it's. Uh, I do want a couple more dogs to be fair, but it's a lot of fucking time yeah. and effort that you need to put in with them. What would you have? If I had a what bigger house, I'd have fucking another one, no. another Malamute to be Ooh. fair. Um, but otherwise, with, with the way that Shearer is, I could have literally any dog, and it'd be mm. fine. Like, even this morning when I was walking, so obviously, like, when I'm up at like, four in the morning, take him out for a walk. Uh, because I try and give him about an hour before I go to work. So the morning's getting a bit darker now. So I'm fucking walking along, just about seeing really. And he's fucking started running forward. And I've clocked, it's a cat that's standing there. And he's just ran up, but it's because he wants to say hello. And this cat, oh, bless him, fucking, the cat swiped at his face and then just ran off. Yeah, and he just stood there, you. just all confused. Like, well, What's going on? No, yeah. I, you know, I'm trying to say hello, and the cat's just full, full on, like, whack, ran. I was like, come on, mate, don't worry about it, fuck, you know. Well, like, yeah, it's just such a fucking soft thing, like, you know, all these other cats and that. Cause there's this one woman around the corner from me, like, as I go around onto the park. She, like, I'm not saying that she is, but she's like the crazy cat lady, and she'll take her dog for a walk, and all the cats follow her. And there's like about eight of them and literally they're just walking along with her and it's obviously mine being fucking as like, friendly as he is he tries to say hello and all of them just hiss at him and everything as well not like, you live with a dog mm. and you won't interact with another dog strange but i suppose it's just because he literally does look like a wolf it's them thinking you know no scary yeah. stay the fuck away i assume anyway i don't know fucking Cats are just shit, mate. You know, let us know uh, if you're a cat or a dog person. Because um, if you're cats, you shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, thank you for that question, though, Laura. Yeah, yeah, it appreciate was, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Honestly, yeah. we sound pretty boring now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, literally, I was just thinking, like, oh, maybe I need a hobby. So, what would be the unrealistic one for me? Then? Oh, shit, what yeah. What would you uh, say for me, then? So, oh. not, so unrealistic, but still within the rounds of fucking. Okay. Because obviously, like, we would fucking have the winning Euros ticket of like 100 million or whatever. Okay, okay. 
Så Gør du Dog walk obviously Ja yeah. Then you get some food But then We go out Not too heavy, a few beers So we're looking at around midday yeah. Well, midday Yeah We watch the football while we're mm. in the pub Carry on Then Hmm, is where See, I'm thinking, then we could go and watch some of your comedians, your favourite comedians, back to back. Because I know you like, um, oh, I keep forgetting the name. Well, there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you oh. know, we, we went and saw Tom Segura yeah. not too long ago. There's Bert Kreischer, Adam Bert Kreischer, that's the one I was uh, thinking of. Yeah, Dan Nightingale, um, Jamie <laughs> Hutchinson, fucking, there's, there's fucking loads, yeah. There's a good comedy club, a good comedy night. Mm. Yeah, sit, sit in front row. Yeah, front so row. So you get, get heckled. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I would love someone to heckle you. <laughs> I think that'd be a great. I think like we've missed a trip there, not putting you front row of every live comedian show we've ever. I know we to. wanted to before, didn't we? But Just I think put you in we front. got in a little bit too late, so we couldn't get right to the front. The beard and the hair is like really tight. Oh, especially these days. Yeah, and then like, yeah. you're willing enough to say some kind of spot. So yeah. actually, that that'd be a part of my day. We sit front row. JD gets heckled and heckles back. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Because I wouldn't start anything. It would literally be like, um, so the top comedian that would start to talk to us uh, is like Paul Smith. So he's a scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does a lot of comparing and that. He and does he, speak a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, he picks out people in the audience. So, yeah, as you say, with the hair and the beards, it'd be like, fucking hell, look at you, kids. And then I'd be like, yeah, sound, fuck you. And so once he'd start giving me stuff, then I'd just... Yeah. Back. So, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be one of them dickheads that fucking when they're drunk and they start saying, "Oh, when's the comedy start?" <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, God, if you're gonna be one of them dickheads, don't go to yeah. me. Like, I get it if it's like uh, a new comedy night and it's everyone's like an amateur and they're fucking the really struggling. Yeah, give them a bit of stick. But when it's pro- professionals, not on that Jimmy Carr special and fucking. Oh, someone said it to it. Yeah, yeah, it's like. This man writes all his own stuff and he's got such a dark sense of humour, you think you're gonna fucking be able to banter him. No chance. No, no yeah. way. Yeah, so something like that. Yeah. I know you don't like the heat too much. Nah. So maybe that that's selling what I've just said, but maybe a maybe a different location. So a bit like because you just said you are going away, so not in your hometown. So yeah, well to be that. fair even though it's not my hometown, but uh, it's where I live these days. Coventry has got a hot water comedy club, which I suppose now is as good as Tom as ever. Uh, I do want to book us some tickets for soon. Um, I have been looking every now and again. I'm just waiting for someone that I actually know uh, to come on and uh, so we can book and go and see them. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, as long as it's not too hot, I mean, today, over these last couple of days and over this weekend, we are having a bit of a mini heat wave again, yeah. aren't we? Uh, which, I don't know if you've noticed on your car, but have you seen, like, um, as if, like, there's been, like, a dusty rain on there? Oh, I've seen it on Reddit that some people are, yeah. Well, it, I've actually seen it on a couple of cars, so it was on the wife's car. Uh, you can't see it on the van. Um, Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's oh, from yeah. the fucking, uh, like, because of the African heat wave, yeah, the Sahara, Sahara heat desert, wave, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like essentially sand that's come over with it, hasn't it? Um, and so yeah, the same. Don't scrub your car, like rinse it before mm. doing anything, otherwise it'll scratch. You know, also that Sahara desert sand has an important. So that goes all the way to the Amazon rainforest. Mm. Now I don't know why it's important, but that going all the way there is important. Is an important feature for the rainforest for some reason. I can't remember that. It's half a story. I'm sorry. But I always remember being fascinated that that travels all the way around the world and goes there to the place that needs it. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, yeah. Because so. there's all them jet streams in the air, aren't there? Or, you know, it's like, mm. I don't know what the speeds are, but fast wind turbines essentially just, you know, just randomly around the fucking orbit. Yeah. Um, it's not even with the equator. The, uh, it's, it's something like a thousand mile an hour. The winds can hit around the equator. You know, but to the flat earthers out there, that won't be real. Um, I, I saw another one the other day. God, sake, these flat earthers. It, so they've got essentially it's like a, a 
glass ball, but it's cut in half. So they've made this like, dome of a ball themselves yeah. out of like a fucking resin or something. And because they haven't cured it properly, so I don't know if you've ever seen any of these videos where they're making the resin tabletops and stuff. No. So it's it's uh, it's it's just like a liquid plastic essentially. But it, once it's set, you can work with it like wood. But when you pour it, it has little air pockets in. And so you're meant to have like a, a an air to, uh, a blowtorch just to heat it up, and it gets the air out. Right. So anyway, uh, they've made this little fucking half a ball, and it's full of air pockets. Like you can see them, and so they're trying to say that those air pockets are what are in this firmament, the fucking dome that's covering the flat earth. So there ain't no stars, it's air pockets, and then they're holding a torch over it, and they're like, Yeah, how you can see that little dot there, that's the moon, and then the bigger dot on the other side, that's the fucking sun. And it's like, No, because if you shine a torch on a fucking prism, you see the rainbow. So is that how the fucking rainbows are made? We've got prisms up in the fucking firmament as well then. It's just the fucking things that these people come out with. Look, the main thing I've never heard any of these idiots fucking say is why? Why? Yeah. Why have all the fucking look, governments, people in power, NASA, even Elon and that now as well with his fucking SpaceX, um, why would they have to lie? Look, yeah. there's no reason for it. Like, yeah. What and, beneficial was there to lie about it? Yeah, like, I just don't see it. And, you know, then it goes down the rabbit hole of that it's, like, the ice wall is just stopping, uh, like, it's, it's separating us from, like, other lands, mm. other islands and whatever. And I saw this one, Egypt, Jesus Christ, it's fucking, it's like, uh, so there's like Asgard, yeah, uh, Asgard and fucking this and that, like fucking mythology, like what you're seeing in fucking the Bible and fucking all sorts of different things. You know, I reckon fucking Narnia was one of the islands. But he's like, yeah, so all the dragons are there. And the reason why they don't come over the ice wall no more is because of the, the 3G, 4G and 5G signals. And it's like, we've had fucking mobile signals for like 20 years. Why, why did the dragons stop coming? Yeah, where was like, I in the 70s? Yeah, like, you know, what, what stopped them coming in then? It's like, oh, mm. it's the radiation uh, because of the electric and this and that. So, like, no, fucking. I oh, mean, it was, who believes this? Like, who listens to the, what this man just said for the first time and be like, yeah, he's being some truth. Yeah. He's being real there. I, I'd, I'd love for it to actually be fucking true that there's other unexplored, like, Areas, islands, worlds, whatever the fucking can be classed as, past the ice wall, but there just isn't. Like it's 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 nah. it, it, the Earth. It's not a perfect sphere, you know, but it's a fucking globe, you know. It's it's just stupid. Yeah, there's fake NASA videos, you know. You you see them a lot where they're fucking. You can see the the strings that are holding them up as they're doing the flips and whatever. And I think there's one. He's got like a deck of cards. And then it drops to the floor and fucking whatever. Well, like, yeah, they're faking a lot of the shit, but that's just them doing it just to be dickheads, really. Like, because you're asking for proof that they can't give, mm. so they're trying to make things. Yeah. Like, did you see the fucking any of the footage of the Indian uh, crap, like spacecraft landing on the moon? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It, <laughs> the actual footage of it, because it shows them in their, like, uh, like space, space centre yeah like, like Houston what, yeah, yeah so it shows them in there and they're all fucking like oh it's getting there it's getting there what was the rocket called I, I, I they just been those just thinking you know be... like the like Houston like New Delhi it might... and was it like Indian astronauts as well aren't they it was just like yeah man uh, or unmanned craft I should say I'm, I'm sure there was fucking uh, I'm sure there was people on there they're, they're definitely fucking taking pictures and that anyway. Well, this would be the first moon landing for years, wouldn't it? Well, because Russia attempted it. And yeah, and they that, crashed. That fucked up. Yeah. Uh, so, ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Um, so, September the 2nd, 
launch the ambitious Aditya L1 solar mission. Uh, that's not the one, no, it's been there for a couple of weeks. Um, how was that? Uh, so, Chandrayaan 3. Fair one. Uh, but while I'm fucking. I've got it on my phone for you, I'll just see if I can. Right, so, sorry for everyone that's listening. You can Google it yourself. Right, so if I can, I will put it on the fucking video. So you're showing so, this space capsule now? Yeah, so yeah. what's landed on the moon, it's just like covered in gold, even though it's not. But the actual footage of it, as it landed, it just looked like a, an old like, right, yeah, PlayStation yeah. 1 game that's landed down onto the fucking moon. And it, it was just so comical, because they're all standing there. I've got the video. I've got the video. Right. I'm going to oh, try and put it on the video, Look, on for the YouTube listeners that is. Oh, the fucking cookies. Right. Um, right, but yeah, you fucking describe what you see as you're looking at this. No, it looks, you know what it looks like to me? If anyone's ever played Kingdom Hearts and you jump on the gummy ship mm. in between worlds, that's what yes. it looks like yeah. to me. If we... <laughs> This, no, that, no, no. No, it's, it's definitely going to be a lot easier for people to just yeah, Google just, it and watch it themselves, if they haven't already. Yeah. But I am going to try and overlap it. At least a couple of pictures or something right, I'll try yeah. on the YouTube. But yeah. it literally is just, it's not cartoon style, but it's, it's poor it's, fucking old school, like a good 15, 20 years old, of like, uh, well, even longer than that, really. If you think fucking films when we were kids had yeah. better graphics, it, it does that. look like PlayStation. It looks like the Shukran Derby if it was a, if it was space a space craft instead yeah. of a fucking car. The Shukran Derby as well. What a great game! Fucking, I used to fucking love that game. game. I did actually when um, they started releasing some of the old games on the PS4, probably about six years ago or something. I did actually download that on there. Cost me like four pounds. I remember just playing it for days and days. But there's no concept to it other than just, just smash. drawing it, smash, smash, and fucking try and survive yourself. What a game. Fucking was, man. But Bad. yeah, check that out. It looks like. Let us know what you think. It looks terrible. It does. <laughs> look. And um, there has been a lot of TikTok videos because there was one where it's like uh, what the Indian astronaut looks like walking on the moon. And so, like, your man's there in a fucking astronaut costume, and he's doing all the slow walk and that. And you could see he's not on the moon. And I'll, like, at first, because you think, fucking hell, like, it is, because it's all dark and that. But as soon as you see him start walking, it's like, all right. Yeah. And then it's like, you think, well, hang on, where's that log coming from? You think a car drives past. <laughs> and so he's walking on the gravel fucking roads in, like, India or something. Fucking hell, it's, it is fun. There's, there's been a, a couple of them like that, but yeah, it's, it's just, it just, if anyone wants to say that it's fake, they just need to look yeah. at India's footage. Yeah, the it looks, there's a bit of deception there from yeah. India. And then, look, like, with that landing that had happened, there was a lot of controversy. Um, so again, I don't know if it was GMB News, or GBN News or whatever, but one of these new program, uh, news programmes uh, the one presenter, he says, uh, if they can afford their own space exploration program, then they should return the money that we gave uh, for India Aid, or, I don't know, 12 years ago, whatever it was, because there was uh, look, a, a nationwide uh, emergency. Yeah. So as the UK do with everyone, they'll fucking send money. Um, and then it was all, because of that and the other social influence as, as what the woman fucking says uh, there was an indian reporter that fucking blasted about that then saying well what about the fucking uh, four trillion pounds worth of fucking well, because of how we obviously well not we personally but uh you know history the ancestors yeah uh, britain obviously took over the whole world essentially at one point so you know it's all the fucking resources and whatever they took from there and fucking this and that. And I was looking at it, I was thinking, all right, it's not tit for tat. Fucking, you got a space program, it doesn't fucking matter. You're on the moon, allegedly. Um, but, oh God, it's just, 
yeah so if anyone's gonna doubt it don't fucking look at India's footage but it's just shit <sighs> right, so we was on a tangent again yeah that's what um, we do just being real mate yeah so uh, yeah Lauren thanks yeah, for that thank question thank you for that really appreciate <laughs> that uh, right so we've got little Kirsty back again now as well she has asked if you had a time machine and could go back uh, could go back and shag anyone <laughs> with no consequences who would you choose P.S. time for that story JD can't keep it back now we'll get to that Kirsty get to it um time machine hmm I mean there's a lot that you could choose from really uh I mean I'd love to see what Marilyn Monroe was like in real person because you'd only ever seen essentially like little bits on TV because obviously she was well before our time um apparently she was sleeping with uh, the president uh, John F. Kennedy and yeah. his brother Bobby Kennedy at the same time, which is a bit, bit, weird, bit weird. That's you don't know brothers, not her. Yeah, it's still weird though, isn't it? If you know your brothers, if your brothers do know with some girl, you're gonna jump on it. I ain't gonna jump on it. No, man. that's what I'm saying. Because why wouldn't you jump on? Because yeah. it's weird on your on your brothers. So yeah, I'm not about from her point, but yeah. I'm just saying like it's just weird. she was just building up that thing. Was just a bit weird though. Um, I'm moving mad though, I was. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to think of fucking women from the past, really. I have to admit, I don't find people on the TV, and, I, and I've, I've said this, I, I don't I don't look at them and think that way. It's because a lot of them, they aren't real. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they always don't make <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, look, a lot of the actresses, um, you know, it's it's the fucking, the face filler, the lip filler, uh, you know the boob jobs and all that. I'm, I'm not much of a fucking. So you know, like fake. Person. Yeah. So you know when you watch Love Island, no? I um, don't watch Love Island. No. But look, like, <laughs> it's just a fuck. Like, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them. So, yeah, Pamela Anderson wouldn't have gone back and done her in a prime. Not saying she's passed it now, but never was my cup of tea. Um, but also, so I love how everyone's want to know about this story don't I <laughs> okay. which one to be fair yeah I've, I've still got a good couple more uh, I, I know which one I've been teasing for weeks though to be fair uh, I'm just struggling on who to go back for really um, well I, yeah I mean growing up we, me and JD used to have this thing when I used to stop over JD's uh Obviously, stay up, up late, whatever. And then as I used to go, we used to like end up going, in, like obviously going to sleep. JD used to be on the top bun, bunk. I used to go on the bottom bunk. And then obviously we used to talk about, I don't know, like girls we used to fancy in school. Remember that? Yeah, it was. It was like pretty much much every week, thing. every week we used yeah. to do it. And it was always the same fucking collection of girls, really. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember we had the conversation a fair while ago now, like? Of, Imagine how, well, because a few of them would know what they're like mm. now that we would have happily done things with in school, and it's like, ah, oh, no, I wouldn't touch them now. Um, but there was a couple that weren't on the list that would be on the list now. Uh, yeah, mad days. Um, I don't know if it would have been anyone from school if I was to go, well, actually, yeah, there would, would have been one that I would have been happy to go back with but can you really say that mm. about because like, that's how you fought and fought in school yeah, anyway so you can't really do it yeah. about yeah, school yeah, days yeah, then, yeah. can you i'm not a nonce um <laughs> okay. uh, ooh. someone who was i mean i haven't seen fucking what she looks like now but fucking uh the mother from Back to the Future, she was a fucking darling. I don't know now. I'm I'm I've, to get never, a picture for you. Um, I've never watched Back to the Future. How have you never watched Back to the Future? You know oh what? my fucking let me tell Yeah, let me tell you a little story. Tell me a little story while I'll fucking. I watched me. Armageddon last week for the first time, and I also watched Volcano 
the last last week for the first time. A volcano. Yeah. It, that. Uh, and what I found out about these like early nineties movies or mid nineties that everything goes wrong. But it's it still works. So Armageddon, the one that one of the shuttles. Was Armageddon the one with Bruce Willis? Yeah, the one of the shuttles crash. Yeah. And then half of them survived there. And then ah, uh, it was everything goes wrong, but it still happened. Like it, they're still getting done. Like, what always made me laugh about Armageddon is like, why, why wasn't it easier to teach astronauts? How to dig yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did they have to teach fucking hole diggers how to fucking be astronauts? And when Bruce Willis is chasing Ben Affleck <laughs> at the beginning, when he finds out he's sleeping with his daughter, he's actually trying to kill him. Like he's going, yeah. and then like they want to be. Part of, well, you just trying to kill him. Like literally, it's like everything that could go wrong went wrong, but it was still successful in terms of the, the objective was complete. Yeah. And volcano arm, volcano mate. Let me tell you about this scene. I was like, fuck off. So, your man in it is you one from Men in Black. What, uh. Is he. Uh, fucking hell. It was like. He was like Will Smith's character's, uh. Yeah, like the Jedi fucking... to his pad on him. I can't. I don't know how to. Uh, I, I, is he Agent just... B or Age? The, no, that... it was M, wasn't it? M, whatever. So. I oh, know, I've just got Robert De Niro in it... my head, but it's not him. No, it's, it's fucking. Mick... So, no. Mickey Lee or something. Lee. Thomas or something. Anyway, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones, that's oh. it. He so, was a good looking man when he was younger as well. But I know his, that's just gone off for another tangent yeah. as well, but I remember seeing fucking one of them TikToks and he chose them from like, when they first started the career and going um, for the years. And fucking hell, he was a good looking man when he was young. Fucking. Because he's in a good movie called Fugitive, bad boy movie. Yeah. But also, can we just get a little shout out to Conair? Because at least. Oh, Connor is a you know fucking what? great movie. I've only watched it once, right? And that was when I was younger, so I can't even say no. if I enjoyed it or not. Honestly, get it on. I'll get it on. It's a man film. If you can call stuff that nowadays, anyway. Yeah, proper man film or it, man film not top one. Oh, uh, not that. Mm, that's oh. a, that's a bit sus film. Though, Sorry, so. I'm going off on a tangent again now. Fucking. Fucking uh so look my brother and his mates the the large things that we was at there was like there was a lake there but it, there was a bit of like a man made beach and so there was like a little swimming pool for the kids with a slide and stuff in. But like uh, there was one section of the sand that had a volleyball court and fucking I remember as soon as I saw that I was like, how much you wanna bet? that Nathan and his gay boy mates are gonna fucking maverick it up. Yeah. Fucking half an hour after the fucking bags were in the room, they were out there in the shorts, tops off, sunglasses on, with a fucking ball, playing volleyball. I've walked past and I was like, Highway <laughs> to the danger zone. Fucking, look, none of them got the reference. No, though, well, they, they wouldn't, would they? Well, they're only two years younger than us, so mm. they should have done. But, but they're not men. Not proper men, no. Um. Top gun men. Ooh. Wait, Lil side now. Have you ever played volleyball? Um, not that I know of. I probably did when we was in school, well, but you know, like how you have people that they can just join a crowd and like, hey. So whenever I've been, been I've never played it. Right. And I've seen people play, and they've asked me to play it, and mm -hmm. I want to play it, but I don't know how to play. It. And also, I don't want to be that rubbish guy on the team. Well, it's it's. I know essentially the same as pairs in badminton. Yeah, but it you have like four people or five five sides. Yeah, yeah, you can have a few on it. So I know the one in the corner is supposed to serve it to the other corner. Yeah, you got a spike And then you only can touch it once in one go. So you, yeah, if you, you can, can only pass it to you, you and then Yeah, so yeah. I can pass to you, you, you can, can pass lay it back. off and then yeah. I can fucking whack it back down. So again. yeah. It just I've never obviously it's not something you can play on your own. Mm -hmm. Uh so yeah, um I've always wanted to try it, but I've always been scared him to be that rubbish guy. Well, maybe one day we'll do it together. Um, fugitive, we'll try and work our way back again. Right. So you was on the no, oh, sorry, not volcano. Volcano. So there's a scene where they have to blow up a building to stop the lava or magma coming through this. Anyway, molten, yeah, molten lava. Yeah, yeah. It, but then anyway, he sees his daughter that he sent with the nurse. To the doc with the doctor, the nurse doc, I don't know. And then, the, then the, the nurse and doctor said, "You've got to look after this kid." 
So she takes her eyes off the kid for one second anyway. The kid's walking out right to the point where they're blowing up this building, obviously. Yeah. And then he sees them from about fucking, I don't know, he looks like on the farm, I don't know, 400, 400 yards away. And she's just there like, <laughs> Then he, instead of just, instead of her just grabbing the kid and running, he runs from 500 yards away and saves them. Oh. Like, honestly, it's just like, it was just, uh, Mashed it was, up. It was, it's like everything went wrong, but it still worked. Also, twist that great film. <sighs> I mean, it was okay. It's it's just oh. that stereo, stereotypical fucking like, world's going to end style of yeah. film, though, isn't it? Have you ever seen one of those um, actual tornado hunters on TikTok? Not on TikTok. I remember watching the program years ago. Ah, mate. Uh, my partner, she watches her. Mate, look. Just Yeah, just it's to it, yeah. driving after her. But while it's still me, it's... Um, so, uh, the actor from Last Man on Earth, uh, he was also remembering how I met your mother when Barney had his wingman from work that every time he got a boner he had a nosebleed. Oh, vaguely, vaguely that episode. Right. Yeah. So, if you saw his face, you'd know him. Right. Funny comedy actor. Uh, he did uh, like a little sketch show on, I think it was uh, like Saturday Night Live, whatever it was, where fucking... Like, um, Will Ferrell and all that used to do fucking comedy sketches. But I saw a fucking video the other day where he's doing a, a, like, a piss take of these men films. And so it starts off, he goes fucking uh, into like a, a gym, uh, like a boxing gym or something. Chris Jericho goes up to him. He's like, oh yeah, the good times we had, bro, that rare, rare. And he's like, well, I'm setting up a team. I've got something to do. And he's like, I'm there. And so he fucking starts going around all the WWE wrestlers. So he's got like Mark Henry, fucking this and that. And he's like, he, he just goes in, like they give the little nod to each other. Like the great Carly was fucking one of them as well. Oh. And he's like, yeah, yeah, setting the team up. And he's fucking there. The last one, it's the big show. And he's like, he's in a garage, fucking as a car mechanic. He's like, hey brother, I'm setting up a team. I need your help. And he's like, yeah, give him the nod. I mean, fucking. One of his colleagues comes over, fucking he leans down, kisses him. <laughs> like, he shakes his head. Next thing, he gives the cut out scene, or, like the zoomed out scene with all the wrestlers there behind him, but no big show. <laughs> it's not, no, nah, he's gay, he's not on the <laughs> team. <laughs> yeah. oh. Right, and then back to it again anyway. So that was the mother in fucking uh, Back to the Future. So if you could bang anyone, this would... Well, it's just one that popped in my head. She was right. a fucking darling back in the day. Um, otherwise, there's not many that I can think of, but yeah, all natural in that anyway. There's no fake tits or anything on her. <laughs> or at least wasn't back then. Um, don't know about these days. No, that's a picture of her now. Side by side. Um, you can Google this yourselves as well. Uh, mm. Right. Yeah, uh, otherwise I don't it's know. It's a hard one really, isn't it? Cause you... No, it is. Oh, again, fucking Kimberly, original Pink Power Ranger. Every fucking lad had a thing for her, really. Uh, you know who my is that? What, you know who my first crush was. In terms of, and I just said I don't really see people on TV. I'm sure I would have known. Ginger Spice. Again. Jerry Halliwell. Yeah, so with the Spice so Girls, we, everyone always had the favourite. Yeah. Mine was always Jerry as well. Um, I think most people's were fucking baby Spice though, weren't they? Emma Bunting. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jerry, just boring redhead, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but that's the reason why they split up, isn't it, though? Because of her and Mal B having it. an affair. Um, split the group up. No. Uh, so yours would be Jerry then. I just think Deep and easy. I'm just going back to that. If if there's, it, it's, it's it's I suppose it's hard to say because you don't want to be. I'll, I'll try and think about it yeah. throughout the week, and if there's something that comes to mind, not something, someone that comes to mind, then uh, I'll I'll drop it in. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I'll you know, old school Megan Fox before she started having the work done. Um, you know, like, so Is she still with Machine Gun Kelly. I think they split up. Oh. Uh, but yeah, like, literally just just as and then before she did 
Transformers. Because after that, that's when she started having the work done and that then, any. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't seen her since Transformers, to be honest with you. She's not done much. She was in fucking New Girl, weren't she? Oh, she's a fucking darling. Um, Zoe. Zoe Deschanel. What a name. Yeah, man. Um, but then you're not really needing a time machine for that, really, are you? For her, sorry. I don't want to sound sexist. Not on this podcast. We're all about the political correctness. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, thanks, no, Kirst. Yeah, thank um, you for that. I really appreciate it. Who would you go back? I reckon she's got a few. Yeah. Men, uh, and, men and women. Probably women as well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let us know. He, he'd uh, Tom travel to. Would it be someone like Bill Clinton, JFK, um, Stone Cold Steve Austin? Uh, mm. I don't know if he would have been much of a sex symbol, really. I can't say I'd... Maybe someone like... Mm. I think if it was wrestling as a sex symbol, Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Because mm. he even had that song and he goes, Sha, I know I'm good. I'm just a sexy boy. Yeah. Sexy boy. And the other one as well. Uh, Ass Man. The one in The Generation X. Uh, Royal Dog. X James. Bad. Badass oh, Billy Gunn. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing so anyway, just because he did that fucking, like, when he'd, he'd just have his pants on and he'd, he'd be. I oh, know, it was Val, You mean Val Venus? Oh, Val Venus, weren't he? That's yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Val Venus. Fucking hell. He used to make me laugh because he used to have the towel and, like, pretend, yeah. like didn't want to undo it. But then when he used to wrestle, like, he walked down, like. I'm and then sure. when he wrestled, just take the yeah. with the towel. I'm sure there was one where someone pulled socks out of his fucking pants like that. <laughs> So like he was always packing to make it look like he had a ball. You know? <laughs> I'm sure someone did. I'm uh, all fucking yeah, they've got it. That was the best best error for us to. Yeah. No, but thank you for your email. Yeah, let us know, Kirst. Who, who would? To be fair, it doesn't have to be going back in time, does it? Could just be fucking. Uh, if he, like, is it the golden card, the golden ticket, uh, free pass? Like couples do it. Like all pass. Hall pass, yeah. Uh, couples have like a list. Not all couples, but you see it on fucking. There was like friends or whatever, weren't it? Like the fucking. They had the list of if you met this celebrity and you could sleep with them, you would. Um, so yeah, if, if you've got like a celebrity or several that uh, would be on your list, let us know. Um, I mean, again, of modern day celebrities. And I'm not gay, but you would do it to fucking Ryan Reynolds, really, wouldn't you? I think that's just every straight man's just straight. Yeah, you just, just would, I it? think Brad Pitt, not so much for us. That's more of a an older person's lot one. Same as um, oh, what's his name now? He was fucking. He was in. He does coffee adverts and that now. Ocean's Eleven. George Clooney. George Clooney. He was Batman. I'm Batman. Batman. Uh, everyone always used to love him as well, didn't they? Yeah, my mum used to love him in here. ER, yeah, fucking Was up. it ER? Was it, was it called ER? Not, sure it was. Uh, the American one. Was it called ER? Yeah, most, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah, called, what, it was, wasn't it? Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. UK, yeah. Casualty. That's it, yeah. <laughs> oh, how did that whole be so Terrible, terrible, terrible <laughs> shows. Oh, I've been shot. Can't fucking believe this. <laughs> Could everyone stop getting shot, shot, <laughs> shot, shot. <laughs> shot. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Fucking hell. Okay, I don't know about that song. Yeah. Um, right, so who we got next? Fucking Danny G. Well, I've been wanting this one actually Back because at it again. What did he say? He was saying stuff like dead and you no you yeah, got, you singing, got no worries. Yeah, yes. singing's to dead. To be fair, fucking. if you were singing to a girl now, it would be a bit what? But again, that's to the fucking the youngins today. It'd be dead. You know, if I was fucking out trying to get laid now, or you know. Imagine a scenario, Alicia's gone, um, you know, she ran away or she's been hit by a bus or something, so she's out the, out the She's not in the picture. Yeah, so if I'm out now, for starters, I'm not trying to fucking pull in the club, because I need to go to bed early, you know, mm. I've got to get up early, walk the dog. It's not worth the three days you miss that yeah. stuff for the hangover. So, yeah, if I'm just out and about, you know, I'm just, I'm just chatting a woman up. I'm, and again, if it is one of a 
more of my age, you know, mm. if we do go on a date night, no, it probably is going to be karaoke or something. Mm. So yeah, that's when the singing comes back into me. But nah, fucking, with the younger ones, you're not going to be able to do that because that's not what they want. They want to be fucking chatted up, don't they? Want to be rizzed. Well, well, I do want to be chatted up because, you know, we've seen some, well, you've seen some stuff. Obviously, like so that, like, yeah, it's, you know, you know yeah. Oh, well, sorry. Mm-hmm. Kirsty asked about your story. What are we going to do with that? We're going to leave I'll, that to I'll the get end. Onto it in or a we're going to yeah. All right. I'll get onto it in a minute. Like, Everyone. It is going to be a slightly longer podcast. Um, really? You know, well, might as well do for episode 24. That's it. You know, Four years. That's it. Fucking oh, you know. hell. So, the uh, yeah, man's so, replied. Yeah, little G. Uh, right, lads. 24 and single. Really? Oh, yeah, because we asked to know what he. Yeah, because yeah, he said dead and he's so. Because yeah. I always assumed he was like fairly so. Because he said dead and Riz, I was like, yeah, he's got to yeah. be under like. So 24, single, got all the Riz that's needed. <laughs> <laughs> no gang, uh, Not about singing, you just gotta. <laughs> <laughs> you just go up to the ladies and drop some lines. It's simple. What lines are you dropping I don't now? Know. Like, I've, what what are you saying? I think you could just drop anything nowadays, I suppose. I don't know, mate. I, I know there was... Or show him anything, I don't know. There was sort of like a short window of time where I could pretty much just go up to a girl and just be like, yeah, you want it? And it like would the all, no yeah. filter? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, sound, couple of drinks, go, have your fun. So whether it's just completely like that now, then... Um, I'd get more trim than you on a night out. <laughs> trim. Right, more trim? Is that what he's... Trim, yeah. T-R-I-M. I assume it must, that's must be like going, fucking women, my, I, pussy, gas. As I said, my barber called me Surti the other week. And so, I, to, I, I guess I, that's right. I like, fucking yeah. had to go. Ask him what trim is then. It, mu- it must to, be I fucking... It must be women. Um, Mate, fair play to you if you can put a few birds on an old so head. So, what, he's 24, nice. he's single. Yeah. He's got all the reese. Singing's dead. Yeah. And then, what's he say at the end? Sorry. He gets so, it's, the... you just got to go up to him and drop a few lines. Give us one of your pickup lines, Dan. We, we want to, we don't need advice. We want to know what you're fucking repping then. What also, is what your is... go-to line? We assume true means girls. It must do. Must yeah. do. Cause... Well, he, unless he means guys. <laughs> But again, it might be fucking just both, any just trim might be no, action. I mean, I'd get, get, get all get I'd get more action than you on a night out, maybe. I don't know, man. Fuck you. No, well. I mean, yeah. So you should. Twenty four. Fucking. I was more prime back then as well. Fucking hell. So if put it this way, if you can still count on your hands and toes, you ain't got more grease than what I had fucking back in the day, kid. I suppose it's a question to be asked. Is it easy to pull now, in your opinion, or would, like, Danny G find it hard to pull in your generation? Oh, in so our time. If, so if do you reckon, a few lines, so do you reckon Danny G would find it harder in your time line than, obviously, him finding it hard, you, sorry, you find it harder in his time, so now? Nah. Well, yeah, because I've had a, a, a good couple of advances on myself the last few times I've been out. So... And that's me no, I'm walking putting, around so, with a ring and not even fucking yeah. putting any effort in. So let's put 24-year-old oh, okay. JD in today's. I'd fucking and have And then we put 24-year-old Danny G in your timeline. Who's doing better? I'd, I'd still be doing better. <laughs> because fucking, I had to put a, a graft. It was I know, a full-on I know, shit I'm, for us back in the day. I know Danny G fucking, and having that. No, nah, because he wouldn't be able to have it. Fucking drop a couple of give us what no one think of that. Fucking, I'm getting angry at you know him. What? He's not even there. You know what Danny Jew? I reckon he smokes a vape. He's one of them. Oh, he God. Smokes a vape. Yeah. He's Probably got a little weed one. Drives a Ford Fiesta. Or a Corsa. No, yeah, like a Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little Corsa like or a little Ford. Fucking... He got a boost one. Let's put the yeah, exhaust yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, well, he's got a traffic to... cone attached to his exhaust to make it sound yeah, better yeah. as well. Or well, he just gets the buzz, mate. Yeah, little bus won't go. <laughs> <laughs> in between us there kid fuck you we'll have yeah. to get Danny G on the show actually tell us some of his stories mate yeah fuck you and take you out that'd be great to see actually we can do an IRL in real life and uh I found <laughs> that out the other day as well mate there you go 
Gaming terminology, that is good. Oh, right, yeah, I was watching that sneaker. Yeah, mm. AFK. Away from keyboard. Fucking hell. That was when we was in school, though, that was. Fucking hell. Fuck. Um, to be fair, there's it's too much of that. Like, uh, it's bad enough with, like, LOL, LMAO, LMFAO, and all that. But when you fucking see where it's just, like, someone's just flatted the fucking keyboard, and it's, like, meant to fucking say, what do you think about this, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Like, how are you meant to fucking know? Just type it out. Everyone's got limited characters on a text message and that these days. Just fucking roll it out, man. It's annoying. Um, but yeah, Dan, tell us what you do then. Not just drop a couple lines. What? Give us an example of what's your go-to line of what you say that gets you some trim. Maybe Danny G's presence is a present in itself for the girls. I never thought about that. Maybe he's just got. Maybe he's just got it, mate. Maybe he has just got it, but we don't know what it is. Um, we just know Dan. Just know Dan. Uh, I think he's. Dan the man. Fucking desperate, Dan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think now's a good time to fucking. Tell the story then. Well, uh, but Dan, thanks for your man. Yeah, appreciate it, you little prick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking, mate. Fucking always appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so I had that much fucking game that I didn't even have to try most of the time. So this that is one period. Obviously, because you you're self proclaimed top shagger, or used to be a self proclaimed top shagger. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. And you know, we're going off these top shagger stories. I mean, there is, there is a good few, but the main one you've been waiting to fucking hear it for a while again. Um, you know, Percy's <laughs> going to hear it, so yeah. I've got to fucking tell you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're twenty five D, so yeah. Um, you know, we'll buy the balls now, anyway. So fucking hell, she had me buy the balls as well. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. So uh, one point in. Like the younger days, I spent a lot of time in Derbyshire because uh, that's where Dad was living. And at the bottom of the garden was the double garage, and we had two caravans down there. So one was like my brother's bedroom, the other one was Uncle's caravan that was just left there because he had nowhere to store it. And so every weekend was just a, a general fucking you go out on the sesh and then like go back there and just fucking have a chill, listen to music and carry on drinking and that. But it's one night in particular, uh, my uncle and his mates, nicknamed ears, he had a big nose. Uh, to be fair, nah, his nose was normal size, uh, it was just, his head was too small for his ears. Um, funny as fuck. Uh, and back then, uh, to be fair, I don't know about ears these days, but uncle, he, he, he's, not an alcoholic, he's not a raging alcoholic like what he used to be. But uh, back then it was fucking hardcore. So, you know, started off as normal, couple of drinks, gone out, uh, met some friends and whatever. And there was just one girl I'd been chatting to for most of the night and that. Um, but nothing, nothing happened with her. But there was one of her friends, I won't say her name, but everyone. Because of her last name, everyone called her such and such fat because it rhymed with it. I'm not going to say the first name. But describe what she looked like then, Jai. Look- she was a fucking <laughs> moose. <laughs> so she was a larger lady, mm. a lot larger than the average lady. Uh, mm. Wasn't nice looking. Mm. And. <laughs> just not someone that you'd want to wake up next to in general. Uh, one that you take out to a carvery just so there's all you can eat there. Yeah. And it's what we call in the trade ten to three. Ten to three girls. Yeah, it was a lot fucking lighter than that. Um But <laughs> so anyway, like ears have been fucking trying to chat her up all night and she weren't having none of it. And then it's got to the time of the morning at this point where clubs are closing. Mm. So we've all gone back to the caravan, carried on drinking and that. And she started trying to put it on me. I was like, nah, I'm all right, bab. Don't want nothing. Nah, I'm all right, Fucking 
here's his game, go on, look, and he's still fucking trying it, even though she's, she, I kept moving around the caravan, and she kept following me, and obviously the caravan's not big, <laughs> fucking, well, sorry for the suspension. I was um, say, but that was rocking your bit, wasn't it? Fucking, well, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even before, oh, <laughs> 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 even just walking around, I just took a battery. Um, <laughs> again we'll get there uh, so yeah it's been going on for like another hour fucking drinking away but with that caravan that we was in it never had a toilet so if you needed a wee you'd go out and just piss next to the caravan you know to be fair I'd, I'm assuming that the lady the did the same well. I'm, I'm guessing so oh. I, I don't fucking I don't think I really paid attention um, plus we was always drunk so yeah. I just didn't care you know if, if if the girl's going out for a piece as well, it is what it is. Um, so it literally is at the fucking end. How I was still awake, I don't know. Because obviously there'd been a lot of drinking at the club before going out. Shots in the club and that. And then still locking up a fucking, I don't know, five, six cans of stero or whatever. Fucking back in the caravan. Because we used to buy slabs of 24 each. And then we'd go through that over the whole of the weekend. As well as going out and drinking. So I've gone out, gone to have a piss. Next thing, I'm getting dragged into the other caravan. And it was just all a fucking blur at that point. Well, who's dragging you, Joe? Fucking, this fat bitch has dragged me into the caravan. Mm. And essentially she's raped me, because I didn't consent. At right. least I didn't want to consent. But I've just had to man up at that point and off. So, yeah, somehow fucking got hard. Um, <laughs> God, I suppose I just closed my eyes and thought of England. Maybe it was the beer. Yeah. For you, mate. Uh, look, at that point, because look, I was drunk, I didn't remember too much at the time. And so then I like, woke up in the morning and it was back in the day before we had touchscreen phones. Mm. So there was buttons you had to physically press and you'd be like trying to get a letter and you'd have to press like two, yeah, three yeah. times to get C and fucking like six, three times to get O, fucking, you know, proper old school. So I'm lying there and all So it's, it's waking me up. And I, I, I've tried not to move. And I'm thinking, who the fuck's texting next to me? And then it all starts coming back, don't it? Now, normally when you start having a flashback of something that you're not happy about, now you see it on the films and the TV and that, it's all the, the full head movements. No, 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 no. So I was doing that movement in my head, but I'm trying to stay still because it all started flashing back, didn't it? So I remember the dragging me into the caravan. She starts fucking... Well, going down on me. Then fucking she's bent over and I'm banging from behind and this and that and fucking. Yeah, it, it all blurred at the end anyway. I know I didn't finish. Fucking, I wouldn't have been out till I was that drunk. Fucking no chance. I remember, I fucking. You saw I wear a ring on my middle finger as well. And obviously, as you do it, you fucking. you got to give the lady a bit of pleasure, ain't you? And I'm thinking. My ring's not on my finger. That's inside of her. I've lost my ring. So, at this point now, the five minutes of pure disgusting flashbacks coming into my head. I've got out of the bed. Like, right, bab, right, fucking, yeah, throw my jeans back on. I'm like, right, I'm just going to go have yourself a cup of tea. I'll be back down in a minute. Fucking never went back down to the caravan. Until she'd left anyway. Fucking hell. My old man was laughing at me because he fucking heard when the bottle happened. Because my brother and I had fucking told him. Uh, oh God, I, was, I just felt so ashamed. The whole of that fucking day. Couldn't believe what had happened. But after a couple of hours, because she did, she waited down there, waited for me to go back down. Fucking, nah. Wanted another round, mate. Fucking, never had it in me in the first place for round one. Uh, I think I just fucked off in the van for a bit. I didn't say I'd put a house anyway, because she could have easily come up. Um... So when I knew that she'd actually left, went down, 
found my ring on the fucking floor in the gravel. So fortunately, fell off while I was having a piss or something. Fucking hell. Um, I did give it a sniff test. <laughs> Didn't smile up fucking arse or anything. Uh, and then yeah, after that, fucking for weeks, I was making sure not to fucking bump into her. And everyone she spoke to, she was saying that she was going to fucking beat me up. And she could fucking easily do it as well, she's unit. <laughs> fucking, she was going to knock me out because fucking trying to say that I'd use that. But the, the golden thing was, Ears was fucking having a rod go at me the next day, saying that I'd fucking stole his bird. I thought, uh-huh. mate, I sat there and told her to fucking have you. I kept moving away and he was following her around up the fucking last puppy as well. It was just, oh God, it was just disgusting. It, it definitely isn't one of my proudest moments. I mean, I can tell you about another time that would be more of a proud moment, but we'll save that for another time. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty more to come. Don't worry about that. There is a lot more but to come. Are we mentoring, this is the same one with the... I, I don't want to say on the podcast, but it was the funniest part. I thought it was the funniest part of Bali. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah I mean, for me, this uh, is when... So, <laughs> so from my point of view, when J, JD and uh, our other mate used to go down, to, like JD's dad's, and he used to come back with all these stories. But well, he wasn't with me on that weekend. No, no. But normally, we used to be the two of you. So you make a weekend of it. You, yeah. You're out there all... <clears throat> All weekend, come back, and uh, so yeah, I was waiting for the story. Yeah. And then, but this one was funny because obviously he's told the story, and as he was telling me, like the dread, like yeah. the story, the like how the boss she looked like the dread, the fear. The so yeah. The, the, but the thing that had me creasing the most is he had the flashback that you had. Yeah. So the the flashback. See, I blocked it out. My head. <laughs> Just didn't want to. You, don't, you don't want to go there, mate. So I remember. I don't know what I fucking forgot because fucking I just mentioned about the ring. Um, so, yeah, she she didn't have to ask twice. She made me do it. So I ended up bumming her. Um, probably an easier role to get into, to be fair. She was that fat. Uh, so I bummed her. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was... Yeah, I was in her arsehole, and then, uh, but once she's had her pleasure off of that, she's fucking rolled around. She didn't spin, fuck no. Uh, got a turtle on the back. Yeah, okay, I almost fell over, did it, mate? And, uh, yeah, she started sucking me off straight away. ATM, dude. ATM. No, it, it might be fucking completely different these days. It might be a fucking... You know, obviously with all the ass eating and that, it might be a fucking... Maybe it's written. No, I reckon a lot of people there so, just like, it's just bummed it, aren't it? Yeah, story. yeah, but like, back in the day, ask the mouth, that was like a disgusting thing that you'd see on porn, not a regular occurrence. In a caravan, yeah. You wouldn't yeah. sweat in a caravan. In, in a back garden. It's yeah. not even on a caravan source. Fuck you. you know, so apart from that night, there were good old days, you know. Fucking madness. Um, so that that's yeah, nothing to be proud of. It's not big. It's not clever. So <laughs> yeah, right. When you're, uh, I know it's not a choice. You don't, <laughs> you don't get to say no. Um, but just avoid being that drunk and getting abused off. Um, I still just don't know how I was able to fucking do it. Hmm wrong um but yeah there's definitely more stories uh the rest of them from now on will be a bit more cheerful than that it, yeah you know what because you you love the story I'll, you should have told the story yourself because no. it's been fucking like a, a down moment for me now <laughs> with our group of lads like growing up they always had stories yeah and i mean stories in like obviously when it comes to girls nights are and it, it was just always when, when one of the lads is telling you the story from their perspective, like in the moment, like obviously Jay is telling his story, like I don't know, 15, 16, I don't know, I don't even, I don't even want to put a number. It was about 19, so yeah, about 15 years 15 ago. 15 years ago, obviously, when you're telling it, and from my point of view, like two days after it actually happened, yeah, 
Because all the um, memories fresh in my head then as well. Yeah, and just the dread, the fear, the I, it's the ITM that got me. Yeah. Because I just remember you telling me, and one of the lads was like, you ITM that? <laughs> 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 like, like, I didn't even know what that meant to that person said it at that time. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, now it was, uh, yeah. I, 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 I need to fucking, I need to give another story out, because that's, I, I don't want to end this podcast with myself being a little bit distressed with that one. Um, a bit uncomfortable. Well, uh, before I tell another story, actually, uh, so a couple of years after that happened, um, Dad was in the pub with my stepmother and whoever else. Uh, there was a lad that I know from over them ways, used to do a bit of work with him, um, fucking sound lad, electrician and that. And uh, he, he was drinking with my dad as well at that point, but I don't even know why. But Dad started chatting to this girl, this same fucking girl, fucking so and so fat, and uh, look for whatever reason, he was like, "Oh yeah, so what? What kind of lad do you go be, uh, go for and that there?" Because um, I, so I don't know the full story, but yeah, she's ended up saying fucking she's into gingers, and uh, so my mate, he's ginger, but she wasn't into him. Plus, I don't know if he had a girlfriend or something at the time. But she started fucking describing me. And she didn't know that was my dad. And so fucking, dad's trying to ring me. I remember, I was out. uh, I don't know, somewhere having fucking dinner with the missus anyway. And he's trying to ring. And I ended up saying, sorry about I've got to take this. Because I'm thinking, fuck, is someone fucking told or something. So I've answered, he was like, we're all son. Never guess who I just fucking met. I'm like... Who? You go, well, she's into gingers, blah, blah, this and that. I was like, for fuck's sake, Dad. I said, you didn't tell her, you, like, you're my dad, did you? He went, nah, but I wanted to. So, for fuck, Dad, you see her again, don't fucking say anything. Fucking, but yeah, she kind of fucking says about how she fucking, like, this one, one ginger lad and fucking, like, you know, did a dirty or But would she find out that you was his son for your brother? Yeah, but I don't know if... Well, I'm guessing she didn't know that that was right. brother's dad as well. Okay. I, I think it was just... He was in the pub, and like, dad being dad, he just chats yeah. to fucking people, don't know. Um, so, yeah, I've just started the conversation, and then just after he's had a couple of drinks, she starts chatting shit, mm. even more so. Um, so, yeah, right. Let me give another little fucking story now before we finish the pod, because that it has brought me down a little bit. Um, so... Again, the same areas. Remember this one bird that uh, it wasn't like a back on and off fucking relationship. It was just she'd messaged me a lot, like she had a boyfriend and everything, and just like out of the blue, like do you want to meet up? Oh, yeah, fucking sound. Um, obviously I wasn't the one getting cheated on, so mm. she wasn't always with this kid. But I remember when like she was with him, she was still fucking wanting to meet up and that. You know, like. I don't condole cheating or anything, but you know, I wasn't one doing yeah. the cheating or anything, so it didn't bother me. But uh, yeah, anyway, I remember fucking meeting up with her, picked her up, and then look with that same house of dads. There was like a road. He carried on down the road, and it sort of led to like a field. There was like a football pitch and whatever. But uh, I remember fucking driving down there to like the gate. Of, like, mm. Where you could open it to like for the farmers to go, or whatever, all up there. And have you ever tried having sex in the car, or had sex in the car? Yeah, not tried. But it's one of the most awkward fucking things to do. Wait, were you in a car or in a van? I was in the car, dad, right. dad's car, fucking Focus. I think it was a Focus or a Fiesta. Now Focus, yeah, because Fiestas are smaller. Fucking so yeah, getting into it in the back fucking you know banging right it's just you ain't got room you can't fucking load load the seats down properly and fucking whatever so awkward anyway um so i ended up just fucking opening the door i'm standing outside fucking bang the wire now done the deed and then well just as i fucking finished i was in his car fucking pulling down like towards us I was like fucking hell so i jumped back in Scrambled into the front, fucking 
I was putting my fucking clothes in that background. She's doing the same. And like, then we're just sitting there. Like, I've put the radio on, just fucking music, just to try and like, act all innocent. So I'm thinking, is it a police car or something? Yeah. Like, they've just sat behind us, about 20 metres behind, but like, they've got the headlights on. And I think, well, it's not the police, because they've not fucking like, put the lights on and fucking come over or anything. So I'm thinking, have I accidentally pulled down to a dogging spot or something? You know, you, you're doing the law. Because you have to say, like, what, what's going on? Did they give on? you a little flash? No flashing or anything. Fucking. Like, they must have known that what I've just done. Because, again, with the yeah, light shining. The modest scene. Well, they would have seen me getting dressed in the car yeah, as yeah. well. Because it's, you know, fucking, like, 12 o'clock in the night or something. Their headlights are shining straight through the car. So they'd be able to see me putting my fucking top and that back on. Um, so, yeah, fucking. She's flapping it hard then as well. So, uh ended up just fucking starting the car, spinning it around. And then like, they were just staring at me as I drove past. But I thought, you know, just don't look, don't look. Uh, yeah, so that, that's a bit more of a, a funnier story to end that up on. Um, I feel a bit better now. Uh, mm, I feel like you need to get that one off your chest to compensate for the other one, Joe. Yeah, I mean, that guy in particular, fucking hell, loads of fucking things about her. <laughs> Uh, again, I won't ever name any names because um, if uh, stumbled across it, as far as the, the last I heard of that, she was still with the same lad. Still with the same lad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's uh, made for the streets, mate. I think look, she had like two kids or something at that point as well. Because she'd messaged me, it was before I moved out of Coventry. Um, she'd messaged, uh, oh yeah, how are you? I thought, I can't be having this bullshit, you know, with the missus and that. No. Uh, I was like, sorry, I don't know ya. Like, tried to just fucking nip it straight in the bud. I was like, yeah, you do. So, nah, I just blocked the straight away. Yeah. I thought, I ain't having this fucking, like, messaging or anything. Fuck you. Yeah. I mean, it had it, been a good couple of years before I got with the missus that I'd done anything with her last anyway, so it's not like she could fucking try and ruin anything. But I thought, nah. Because it was sort of a common theme. She'd have an argument with a fella, and then she'd fucking, yeah. like, chin him off, get in touch with me. I'd fucking make her happy again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she'd uh, go back home then. Good old days, man. Fucking hell. Top shagging days, Dan. You don't know about it, kid. No reason. Sure. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, hopefully, these are all satisfied with that now. Um, we've got more stories to come. Uh, Really love the emails. Anything that you've got, any questions. Um, if you've got any answers to any of the questions we've had as well, send them in. Uh, Mike, we want to hear more stories yeah. from you. Um, oh God, I would love to. If you can send that footage in, fucking please do it. I won't, I won't put it on if we're not allowed, but fucking hell, I'd love yeah. to see that kid just getting strangled. <laughs> yeah, no, and again, thank you for everyone that's emailed. Yeah. And everyone that's emailed throughout the show for the first 25 episodes yeah you know you know we are you know, we're building a tidy little fan base yeah. to be fair um, well obviously we can't do without you lost so it is much appreciated yeah just, you know for asking the question and wanting to know yeah you know, wanting how, to know about us in yeah. general as well and it, you know it, it's, it's not just the bit of comedy coming out of some of it as well but um, yeah shout out all to the uh, Walsh fans we've got a big Walsh following um Madness, to be fair, Lord, you wouldn't expect Welsh to enjoy the Brummy Anton deck. So, <laughs> oh, I think, <laughs> I think that must be like a uni town, and someone said, "Ah, oh, listen to these two. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just gone from there. Yeah, it's got it there. Yeah, um, I could do a little tour there soon. Yeah, man. Get Danny G on stage, just some Riz. No Riz, man. Fucking hell. Where, you fucking shagging a sheep. Where did where did Riz come from, Lord? Like? It's just a Riz. It's like when I first heard it, I just assumed the Brizzler. It's for rolling up your, your joints and cigarettes and mm. that. But, but I don't know. Brizzler, roll up, roll up to the women. Maybe it's, it's got to be an American song first, don't it? Yeah. But now, yeah, obviously, once again, thank you for everyone that's emailed on this, this episode's podcast. Yeah, if you've got any new whole. slang that you want to teach us as well. Yeah, if yeah. you know about trim. It's got to be. I mean, like, I'll ask my barber what I'm going to trim what it means. So, if not. Because again, yeah, trim, get your hair cut. Is that what it's sharp? 
But he's, he's, he's definitely going to get his hair cut more than me on a night out because I don't have it cut these days. Mm. Um, unless it's in my pubic region. <laughs> nah, manscaped, do it myself. Not paying for that. You know. uh, but yeah, do appreciate it. Uh, just same again, though, because the majority of you that do listen don't download. So even though we appreciate you listening, if you could yeah. just download it, it shows us exactly how many people are uh, listening to us. Um, I can see the Spotify numbers, they're going up. I, I know we need to put more effort in on social media side and all that. Uh, we'll get there. Um, oh, you would have seen by now as well, but we have got a new logo as well. Oh, yeah. Sorry for leaving it so late, but the designer. Yeah, Tanya. Uh, Tanya's Tales, she's got her own grooming business. And in Tamworth, so check her out, just Google it. But yeah, thank you for doing the design, we loved it. But also, the concept art that we gave her, <laughs> my partner thought was absolutely hilarious because he was just like, it literally was a two second job. Yeah. And she said we should have kept that one. If I remember, I'll fucking yeah. ping it up here now as well. Yeah. But yeah. now, yeah, so thank you for that. Yeah, Obviously, cheers for that. Time. That should be whacked on in this episode. It will do. Cool I'll back, fucking so. get that sorted in the morning. And then it will all be on there for when this is coming in your ears tomorrow. Well, oh. today for you. But yeah, um, that's been the Real Talking Podcast, that's episode it. 25. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And we shall see you next week. Peace.